All right, let's talk Sunshine State Major. My name's Greg, and you're watching How to Play Paintball. All right, so same as uh, every other time, sorry for this one getting out a little bit later. Uh, thank you to those that are members, so you guys are getting this first. Uh, for those that are not members, that's why you're seeing this on Saturday rather than right when it had dropped on that Wednesday evening. So same as any other time, uh, just gonna go through, give you my first impressions of the layout, trying to see exactly what it is that uh, could be some possibilities. This is not a guarantee. Remember, this is something that just on paper, it might look like this could work or this might work or this might be a good spot to go to. And then you get to the field and you see, oh wait, I was completely wrong. It's okay. This is just something to help you all out with getting at least a jump start uh, or a head start on how to break the field down for your team. Uh, so first and foremost, uh, what we're going to be looking at is these uh, back four bunkers. We'll go there and we'll go across the field just like every other time. You guys already know how this goes, so I'm just gonna jump right into it. So off the break, these cans, I, I think you are you should probably expect there to be people in these cans. These are gonna be ways that people can filter out and up into, uh, into different other bunkers. Um, they also do have some decent shots. Now, this one going into the snake is not, I, I wouldn't use this one consistently just because if they get low enough, they should be able to come around here and crawl up and you would have no idea. Same thing with over here, but at least you can throw some paint over there and it's something that might be able to help you out. Uh, these inside shots, it's going to be kind of threading the needle a little bit through here and through here, but at least maybe as you're running gun out, if you wanted to throw paint that way, maybe someone's trying to uh, run and gun out a little bit deeper and come up or you, you can kind of force them maybe to have to dive in instead of having paint in the air so just giving your your teammates a better chance of uh of survival uh the other thing of course is right over the top of this brick same thing if someone is floating back here um so from from this can here you can drop it over the top of the brick and drop into that region in the back so that way um, you can stop people from getting some of these other shots I'll talk about in a second. On this side, uh, so you can see with the blue lines, and I'm hoping you guys can see these fine. Uh, with these blue lines, you do have some lanes off the break. Now, these are going to be more tough to get because you have to really book it out uh, real hard. Um, but it's completely possible. I think if you come off quick enough, um, maybe even take a, a couple steps off and then have like your gun really reached out, to, uh, to that starting um, uh, that starting brick there, uh, or starting gate, you'll be able to pull off quick enough to get that lane to maybe catch someone trying to dive into this wing or into, uh, if they're trying to run the back line, trying to come across into here, you can see that there's some gaps. Now this could be an okay bunker to stay at for a little bit. I, I don't know that I would stay here for a long time. Again, we'll see this weekend uh, or the next two weekends how that's all going to break down. But looking at this, I, I don't see it as like a, a great bunker to stay at to really contain and help out your Dorito side. I think it's good off the break. Uh, actually getting into this wing. Uh, so these things get super tiny when they're, they're stand-up wings. Um, so this is the newer one. Uh, they get very small. So you don't want to stay here for too long just because... This shot that you have going into the snake corner, if they do that back, you really have to push in. It's going to be really difficult to stay alive in there. Um, and then this shot into here, so the slope goes in that way to where the, the beam is. So you could drop some paint over here. Maybe if someone's trying to do a run and dive straight in, I guess you could maybe catch them. But this would be more of a transition bunker. I don't see this being something that you want to get here and then you're going to do a whole bunch of work from there. Going over to the snake side, so you have this can. So that same shot, uh, of course you have the same one back. Remember that with all of these shots, they have the same shot back at you. So it's not a guaranteed elimination for uh, that, particular, that particular spot. Uh, looking on the tape side or on the snake side of, of this can, you do, of course, you can shoot into that gap shoot into the uh, the snake corner so maybe you fill out here and you see that they really like to run out wide and go to the snake corner this is not going to be a bad spot to get to because you should be able to get here and have that paint in the air by the time 
they're coming across here, which means that you'll be able to catch them uh, as they try to dive in. If they try to go to snake off the break, if they go a little bit too deep, you might be able to catch them here as well. So this isn't a terrible bunker, but again, with both of these cans, I don't think that it's going to be smart to stay in these. I, I think that um, I would want to get out of these pretty quick just because once it starts getting tight, you really don't have a whole lot of places to, to break off to. So um, this one's going to be a little bit better just because you can go into uh, that Aztec or into this larger tower. But I don't know. I, I don't know that I'm going to want to stay here for too long. Uh, so this Aztec here, getting out into here, you can shoot into these gaps. So if you don't have someone that's doing containment from uh, some of the other spots um, and you just want to have that containment right there, you, you do have that option there. Uh, the inside shot here, the reason I have this is because of people that might try to filter up into this center. So if you can catch them back in this region as they're trying to come across here, or just make it more difficult for them to have to come across. Maybe they have to stop here before coming up into the brick or even trying to get into your side. Um, this is something that you can throw paint into the center and it might disrupt some, uh, some plays there. On the tape side here, and I don't know that I should be using black just because it's starting to blend in a little bit. So uh, shooting up into here is not going to be uh, the best, but you would be able to shoot mirror to mirror uh, and maybe catch someone if they're trying to come across, but that's not going to be something that's a guarantee. Uh, shooting across here, you have that shot into this snake gap, so at least that is an option there. Uh, so the reason why I have this one is just because... I think that you can float here for a second and get some different shots. So the X's here are, are just helping out with where it is that you would be standing uh, with this. Well, I'll go from the snake side over. I realize there's a snake on the Dorito side, but you get the idea. So shooting from here, you can lane and be relatively safe, it looks like, because there's some larger bunkers that will block out some paint. Uh, so you take a, a quick step off the box and you shoot, or you could actually just take a knee right there and shoot into for the snake corner or if people are trying to float out and do kind of the same thing you can shoot right back at them um so they're gonna have to kind of dance a little bit uh and make that a little bit more difficult to uh to pull off it's a far enough shot that it's not a guaranteed so even if you're doing that and they shoot back at you you just take a step over and you're safe or you take a step over this way and you're safe from this center one you can shoot into the dorito side and then these on the Dorito side, same thing. There's some shots that you have going into that Dorito. So the good thing with these is that you have some spots that you can jump into if need be. It's not going to be the most ideal to have to double a, a can with someone um, or uh, getting up into this tower. I think, I don't know, I, I think I'm going to want to play this, but that's just me. Uh, but uh, getting up from there to use as a way of, of moving up the field. Um, so you have a couple options that are going to help you out with uh, actually getting that movement. So getting into the snake side, I'm going to turn it this way actually, so it's a little bit easier to see. Um, uh, this snake corner, I think is going to be pretty important. The, the only issue that I have with it is that you can't really stop the snake super, super well. So if they match you in the snake corner and they shoot up over the top, it's not like you can get low enough and still shoot down the tape. It's probably going to be best to have someone in the snake with you shooting down your tape to protect your wire. But this, I think, could be a good kind of like turret because they can pick up on a lot of these different gaps. You can see they can shoot down the tape. They can uh, wrap a little bit and shoot into this gap as well as into this gap, uh, wrapping into the can. Um, uh, on the inside, they have some shots into the Dorito side, into the center. So this, I think, could be a good area for someone that is very versatile so they can protect their snake player but also if need be they can shoot cross field into some of these other uh, gaps just to help out with some of their teammates uh, the snake one it doesn't have a whole lot of shots i think if someone is here already and you just got to the snake one there's probably some other issues but you do have shots into that center brick uh, or i'm sorry both of the center bricks um, and then if you wrap you can shoot into the wing uh, these are the larger wings, so they can protect themselves a little bit more. From the Snake 2, if you look at the green lines, uh, you have the shot into that Dorito side, into the wing, 
and into this Aztec here. Um, so at least it's something that maybe they start shooting at you on the inside, you dive real quick and crawl up. You have some other shots that you might be able to surprise them with. And then of course you can wrap, shoot into that, remember that tiny wing, it's, it's gonna get small pretty quick. So I would be, uh, I'd be, I'd want to get out of here quick. If I'm diving here off the break, which I'll probably try this weekend, um, diving here and then trying to get out or using it as like a delay to get up or figure out which way I'm going to go, whatever the case is, I don't think it's going to be good to stay there though. Um, moving up a little bit more, this is a wing in here. So uh, I'm sorry, a little W. So um, you have a little bit more comfort, comfort to sit a little bit taller uh, you don't have to worry about uh, playing the snake beam so you do have some shots on the inside and i think as you wrap that's going to be where you're going to get a lot of those kills from uh, and of course if you get to their side that's when you're really going to be able to start shooting uh, into people's packs uh, catch them off guard if you can just go all the way down i think that, that might be possible now with how these bricks aren't humongous but i think they might be big enough that if you stay low and crawl around and just kind of go like that and go into here, you might actually be able to go all the way in and catch some of these people off guard. I don't know that there's gonna be anything tall enough to shoot down onto you to stop that movement. I'd have to look uh, actually on the field, but for my snake players that are watching, uh, I think because it's all connected, there's no breaks. You don't have to worry about that. It's not like other, other layouts where there's like breaks and the V or whatever. Uh, like this is basically what World Cup was, but on the on the Dorito side, this was over here, uh, if I remember correctly. So I don't know if that little W was there, but regardless, there was like this V thing. This is a zipper essentially, so you can just kind of crawl and just keep going down. And if you can go all the way down, maybe even have it where someone else is ready to fill right away. Because if you can go shoot one or two, and then someone tries to come and get you and you trade with them, you did your job as a front player. So the more people you can take with you, the better. Obviously it's better to stay alive the whole time. Uh, all right, so flip over to the Dorito side. So I'll leave it like this. I think that'll be easier for everyone to see. Uh, so this is definitely an interesting, interesting setup. Um, this first Dorito here, you can shoot into the snake gap. Uh, if you shoot the inside, they'd have to be hanging out a little bit for this shot to work, but it's a possibility. This is a, a Dorito that I don't know that I'm going to stay here. I would use this as a way to get up into this one or maybe trying to dive across or use this as a transition. I don't know that this is going to be super useful because it's not like I can really stop a whole lot um, by shooting this. They have all these moves on the inside. They can come in here, hop over. I mean, like I might be able to catch them hopping over, but by that time, if they're crawled up into here, I, I don't know, it's not, it's not gonna be great. So it's not like I can really protect a lot of people here. Now, again, might be able to get to the field and see if this is the best bunker on the field, who knows? But for right now, I don't know that that's gonna be the best one. This little Dorito is definitely gonna get small real quick. Uh, and it's kind of in a no man's land. Now, I think you will have a okay move going there, but you do have to worry about these shots coming across shooting into this gap and then this one's going to be real tough to get through uh if there's a we'll, we'll talk about the center a little bit more but this is a larger gap and i'm not sure exactly how many bounce shots there's going to be going into there to help you with moving up into uh into that spot so uh this little dorito has some shots but i would use this like these two as transitions to move up into these other ones so you can see with this pink one so you have some shots as you can kind of wrap a little bit more. Um, oh, I just realized you could probably stand up real quick and shoot up over the top of this brick and shoot right into that Aztec as well. Uh, then on the inside, shooting into this Aztec, I'm sorry, that's a tower. Um, shooting into this Aztec and then shooting into that uh, larger wing. This one with all the green, you have a little bit better shot at least seeing them go into here. Now, if they stay real, real low or they pick the right time and dive out wide, that slope is gonna help you with at least being able to see this corner, but they might still be able to get up and cause some, some damage there. Uh, if you wrap, you can shoot into this tower. Uh, this is gonna be something that would help you with making a move into a brick or helping maybe someone else over here to move up. Um, you definitely are gonna need to use teamwork uh, 
uh, especially on this Dorito side. I'm not saying the snake side won't need teamwork, but to make this gap, once you get into there, you can you can start causing damage. But if there's people that are shooting through this gap here, it's going to be real difficult uh, to, to really do anything. So um, I think you want to make sure that you're watching out for that. Uh, when you actually get into this structure, uh, you can see it's going to be a lot better once you can actually get into their side. But from this side, when we are uh, looking at it, uh, this these blue lines, you can go into these Doritos. Uh, on the inside, you can shoot into the wing, into the brick, you can shoot into that snake gap right in front of the snake corner. I think you're you're going to see a lot of creativity here. So people that can crawl back and forth and, and kind of just cause some damage, pick some spots to maybe jump over, go into here. Because once you get into this little W, you can uh, probably even move around a little bit through here, just depending on where they're at on the field. But those inside shots are going to be great picking up on on these guys because again if they're here and you're here it's gonna be real difficult for them to make make moves they might be able to make a, a quick jump but maybe on the outside here i'm sorry the inside to to move up but it's going to cause a lot of issues there and then of course if you can get to their side you can see you can shoot into the snake too shoot into the tower, shoot into that aztec uh, if you're wrapping you can surprise these guys i mean it's just you getting into that bunker is going to be real important. So getting into their wing, you're going to be able to do a lot of damage from there. But I think the creativity, even someone crawling up to here, shooting, and then like crawling back and coming back around over here. Uh, Cause if someone comes to bunker you and you can shoot them and then take that spot back again and then pick up some other guys, uh, all of that is going to be really, really useful for, for your team. Uh, and then this, this brick here, so you can, of course, shoot into the other brick. Now, how you would make a move and then they wouldn't see you, I don't know. Maybe you're here and you wait for someone to try to make a move, I guess. But I wouldn't count on that uh, being a, a guaranteed shot. This one, you're kind of threading the needle. A, well, I, I guess not really. You're, you're shooting just past that slope and dropping it in over to the outside of the Dorito. And then, of course, into this gap as well. So maybe if you had someone here and then someone else was was moving around, you're just communicating again. I, I think the creativity on this D side is is going to be going to be vital. It's going to be a bloodbath over here, creativity over here, and then also in the center. I think some of the creative players and the timing is going to be real big here. Um, shooting into uh, that that tower, it's not a guaranteed shot. This one's going to be a little bit more more of a guarantee just because you're shooting more into the bunker. And then you can always try to catch someone as they're maybe trying to make a move out. But again, that's not a guarantee. It's just a shot that you do have. Uh, so actually moving up into the center. Uh, so these two wings here. Oh, I just bumped the camera. Uh, so these, I'm sorry, this wing and this tower. I, I think getting into here is, is going to be... Uh, this is going to be used, uh, probably both of these. So depending on what side you want to push more, or what side you want to control, you can do that from either of these. So uh, let's let's start with the tower. So you can shoot uh, someone that's trying to make a wrap. Now, again, you are completely blind to this inside move. So just because you're shooting here doesn't mean that they haven't moved over here yet. And technically, if there's no one shooting into this gap, they could run through and just come bunker you. Um, uh, you can shoot into this Dorito and kind of switch back and forth. There's going to be a safer spot that you can do that from, but that is an option. I think even shooting up, like if you jump real quick and shoot up over the top, you might be able to catch the wing. And then shooting into here is where you're going to be most deadly. So coming into here with, uh, it's going to be a little bit boring, but coming into here and just dumping paint and making it where they never can make it into the snake, or at least you see them go into there. It's such a big gap that they have to get through that it's going to be really really difficult and you can really tuck into here and really battle out of there now the wing is going to be a little bit i mean it's still a large bunker but you can see how great of a shot you have here and here so even if you miss the guy going from here to here you have this shot from here to here this guy is going to be able to control this dorito side and again even if somehow they make it in 
you're going to see that move and then it's not a surprise that you then it's just a matter of finding where is this player did they crawl up to here did they try try to come around go into the little w did they come to our side you can figure that out but at least you saw the guy go in uh standing up over the top i think you might be able to use that slope a little bit as well and uh shoot into that gap uh, and then, of course, I think you can do that same shot back into the, the tower. Now, you do have some decent shots on the snake side. I, I don't know that I would guarantee these. Um, shooting into uh, the snake side, shooting into that Aztec going into the, uh, the little W. Um, so it, both of these are both going to be bunkers that you need to make sure you're bringing a lot of paint with just because it's going to take... Uh, it's going to take a lot uh, to, to get that guy out. Uh, when you actually get up into the brick, so you can do pretty much the same job. So if for some reason they maybe put you in or something, or uh, you're having issues surviving in here, if one of those guys can move up, it might be able to make life a little bit easier just because now you can really tuck in. It's not like there's a pin right here where everything's going to be bouncing in and making it really, really difficult. Uh, you can still shoot all of these gaps. So again, I can post up here, be pumping paint. Even if I miss, then I just roll off and I just shoot into this gap and make it where it's super difficult for him to make a move. And then if somehow I missed again and he makes it into here, now I just roll off and I shoot into this gap. So I have a lot of options on this side. Same thing with the snake side. This one's going to be a little bit more tough, but shooting into, into there and then also just pumping paint into the snake. Um, basically if someone's here, I, I feel like you're going to have to go and just bunker this person out and trade with them. Um, same with these guys, they should be able to survive. Uh, there's some possible bounce shots that I'll talk about in a little bit that might be more of an issue, but, um, actually I take back what I said. Uh, these guys, th those bounce shots are going to be some issues, but, um, the creativity through the center and on the D side is going to be big. Um, that, that's what I'm kind of predicting right now. Okay, so speaking of bounce shots, and I just realized I don't think I talked about that other tower. Let me double check. I did not. So this tower, so let's just do this real quick. Uh, coming up, um, looks like you might be able to thread the needle a little bit through here. I wouldn't guarantee that as a shot because you'd have to run and gun going up there. That's going to be a really tough shot. Uh, shooting cross field, again, kind of thread the needle through there. You can shoot into this gap. So at least you can have eyes up as you're going up, but use this more of a transition. So I think these three are probably going to be more of a transition. We'll, we'll see this weekend. Now, these are all maybe bounce shots. Uh, again, I, I'm just looking at the layout and just seeing what is it exactly that might be an option? What is it that's going to be something that could be a bounce shot just to keep in the back of my mind. So I'll go from snake side over. So from this Aztec, I think if you shoot on the inside off this wing, it might be able to skip in. Now, if this guy is pushed in and maybe switches sides and starts shooting over this way, they might be protected. But if they're posted this way, you might be able to bounce it off here into there. Um, now, the, the issue with that is if they start feeling that pressure, they could come around to this side and then just dive into the brick and then still keep doing their job. So again, this isn't a guaranteed kill. You have two larger bunkers in front of you, so you're not even gonna be able to see if that shot is going in, but that's one that could be a possibility. Uh, this pink one is, I don't know, I was just looking at it and it, the angles look like they might line up, so I think it depends on where you shoot it in the front section of this can, but if you shoot into there, it'll bounce into there. I'm pretty sure about that one. Uh, coming over to this wing, this one uh, may be 50% positive, actually probably less than that just because of the angle of it. So shooting off the Aztec here into that can. I don't think that that's going to be a guarantee, but that's something that you could try. Um, with the bounce off this, I feel like these three might be able to do that. Uh, if you shoot it off this tower, it might bounce into there. And again, you have the chance of being able to bounce it into there because this guy, remember, can hold this gap very well. So the same thing like before, all they have to do is just dive into here. Um, they could have this person switch real quick to shoot, but 
this is a chance that maybe these three could bounce it off there into that wing. We're going to see which are the ones that actually are pretty consistent, or can this guy just kind of roll off a little bit more and tuck in and, and they're safe. Um, but if this works, it's going to free up this Dorito side a whole lot, um, which I don't really like because if I'm playing the center, um, yeah. Now, if I'm playing the D side, I'll, I'll really like that because then that means it makes my life a little bit easier. But we'll, we'll see uh, what, what position I'm playing on, uh, on this layout after the, the next two weekends. Um, the other one is this black line. So I think from these two Doritos off this tower might bounce into here. If this one works, it's going to free up your snake side a little bit more. You might be able to catch someone that if you can get someone out to the... Uh, um, the snake corner to maybe wrap and put some pressure on this this side so that way it pushes them into this bounce okay but um, again these are not not guarantees now this one I'm pretty sure is not gonna work this little Dorito off the brick I think is gonna bounce too far back I'm pretty sure it'll, it'll do that or it's gonna bounce like into the other brick I don't know that the angle is gonna work but maybe if it's over inflated or under inflated it might be enough that that's a possibility off this wing shooting off the little w if they're posted inside now this is such a big brick that if they feel pressure they should probably just adjust or just lay down and crawl back but maybe you can catch them there from this dorito i again these are not guarantees but i think this might be possible is bounce it off this little w i'm sorry little wing into that can so when I was looking at this more, I, I think it's it's going to be um, not as easy to survive in the center. Um, I think of the three, the safest is probably this center brick. But then again, if if that happened and I was here or here, and I know that someone's there stopping one of our sides, well, you can just go through and bunker that person and maybe even take their spot. So... I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see if these bounces actually work, but it's something at least for uh, for you guys to start off with. And then, uh, yeah. So uh, I think the the biggest thing is uh, my son made a play. So um, take that as as you will. Uh, but that's going to win the tournament. He hasn't told me what all of these mean, but he said this is what's going to win the tournament. So thank you everyone for all the support. Uh, appreciate all of that. If you are going to be at the event, please make sure to say hi. Uh, so we will be at uh, PB Fit in Texas the first weekend, and then we'll be at CFP in Central Florida in Lakeland uh, for the second weekend against, I know that one for sure is the Ironman and Russians. The first weekend is AC Diesel and I think Infamous, if I remember correctly. So thank you again, everyone. And as always, remember, watch, learn, win. Thanks.